back to my kitchen and welcome to the recipe therapist. You know, it's just about that time of year, right after New Year's, and everybody's looking for some healthy recipes and wanting to get back into shape. So for tonight's dinner, I decided that I'm gonna try a meatball and cauliflower rice casserole bake. It's gonna be so delicious. I'm gonna put some fresh chunky tomato sauce on top that I made with some fresh ricotta and mozzarella. And the best part about it is it's low carb, keto friendly and gluten free. And I can't wait to show you how I do it. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is start out with the meatballs. Today, I'm gonna to be using ground chicken for these meatballs. I have two pounds of ground chicken here. I like chicken and so does my family, but you can use ground uh, turkey or ground beef if you'd like. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw two pounds of my chicken right in my bowl, right here. Okay. And next, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons or two large cloves of freshly minced garlic. I do have a pinch of red pepper flakes here. Uh, they are optional, but we like a little heat in our meatballs. I have a pinch of black pepper going in and salt to taste. I have two tablespoons of fresh chopped Italian parsley and one beaten egg. Okay, now, typically I do breadcrumbs in my meatballs, but because we're doing this gluten-free and low carb, our fillers are gonna be some cheese. So I have a half a cup here of some shredded Parmesan cheese. I prefer the shredded, you can use grated, but like I said, I like the shred, so I'm using those today. And then I grated up one cup of fresh mozzarella cheese. Meatballs are all done, and don't they look great? So now we're ready to put them in this casserole dish. So what I have here is a nine by 13 casserole dish. I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, and I'm gonna take these meatballs now, and I'm gonna line my pan, all right? I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, and these meatballs are going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes, and they are going to you know, cook all the way, like pretty much all the way through, and they're gonna make a juice at the bottom. And we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that juice, and we're gonna start on our cauliflower rice. some of that juice that they made at the bottom of the dish. I have about half the juice remaining, and this is what's gonna give our cauliflower such great flavor, because I'm gonna take these two packages, they're 10 ounce packages of frozen riced cauliflower, and what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna pour them both right into this bowl, okay? And I'm going to microwave them for about, depending on your microwave, anywhere from five to seven minutes. And when it's ready, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna line the bottom of this casserole dish and then we're gonna build our casserole from there. Look at my cauliflower. It's nice and tender. It cooked for about seven minutes in my microwave. This is perfect. This is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna take this cauliflower and now I'm ready to put it at the base of my casserole dish. All right, I'm gonna get it all out. And this cauliflower is gonna be so flavorful because now it's sitting in all that delicious drippings from the 
meatballs that taste so delicious, by the way. I couldn't help but take a taste. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna flatten this out. And then, to, just to give it a little extra flavor, I have a quarter cup of some chicken stock. Just gonna pour it right on top. Try to, you know, get it even. And then I'm going to begin to put my meatballs back in the dish. And then we come back and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build the rest of this casserole. chunky fresh tomato marinara sauce that I made right on top and look at it. I mean, this is looking so good. Guys, this is gonna taste so good and it's so healthy. Now we're ready for the cheesy part. So what I have here is some full fat fresh ricotta cheese. So I figured I would just kind of put a dollop, you know, around this bake. Because, I mean, you could omit this, but we kind of like regatta with, you know, our chunky tomato sauce. So I figured I'm probably using about a cup here and I would just spread it all around the top of the bake, just like this. And this looks about right. Actually, I'm gonna put one more right here. Okay, perfect. All right, and then I have one cup of some shredded mozzarella that I shredded up earlier. And I'm gonna put that on top. And I still have my oven at 400 degrees. And this is almost done. I'm just gonna put this cheese on top. I'm gonna put this back in the oven just to basically, you know, melt the cheese and get everything all, you know, coming together, you know, heat wise. And I'm gonna garnish it with some fresh parsley. I mean, you could put fresh basil or oregano on top, but I'm just gonna throw a little fresh parsley. And bake this for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna take a taste. I'm going in to take a taste of this delicious meatball cauliflower casserole, and it looks so good. And come and look, you see that cauliflower on the bottom? It's nice and like pink from the sauce, it's got some onions in there that I put from in my sauce. You see that ricotta, some mozzarella. This looks so good. I'm going to just put a little bit more parsley on top and I'm going in to take a taste. And it's still smoking. Look at the meatball, it's perfectly cooked. I got a nice tomato right there and I'm gonna take some of this cauliflower and I have to put it on it because it looks like it's hot. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so flavorful. It is packed with flavor. Oh my gosh. The cauliflower is still like, it's tender, but it's still like kept a little bit of its firmness. Um, and yet it has so much flavor from the juice from the meatball. And then the sauce in there, the cheese flavor is incredible. Oh my gosh, this is definitely a keeper. My family's gonna love this tonight. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. It is definitely a good one. For the full recipe, I am gonna leave it in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you next time to serve up some more love. Take care.